I'd like to extend a welcome to the newest Boston Celtic, Derek White. And Derek, uh, welcome. I answer questions. Start from Mark Murphy first. Hey, Derek. Um, welcome to Boston. Um, it's been kind of a crazy day. You played the last 17 minutes of the game. Just what what has this whole whirlwind been like so far? Yeah, it's been it's been pretty crazy. Um, just finding out you're getting traded and just trying to figure out what's next. But um, so I've been out here. It's been been good and just. Um, I was happy I could go come out here and play tonight and, and help the team win. Can you walk us up, walk us through a little bit how it transpired, like how you found out about the deal and what um, when you found out you'd be playing tonight, that sort of thing? Yeah, um, Pop came to my room. Uh, we were in Atlanta, and, and he told me that um, they traded me to, to Boston and um, just had a little conversation with him and then um, just try to figure out what was next. After that, it was all pretty crazy. I was... Pretty shocked because I didn't, I didn't really see it coming, but um, as soon as I got here, I, I got excited and um, was happy to come here and, and help the team. And how did your familiarity, obviously, with Ime, with Will, having played with some of these guys at FIBA, how did that help um, kind of right away the comfort level? Yeah, it, it helped a lot. Um, I mean, I feel like I know people in the training staff and everywhere, so um, it made the transition a lot easier and I felt pretty comfortable out there. And um, Tonight, like 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 Mark said, you played the last 17 minutes. Was it something where you expected like that kind of workload, or you kind of get it eased in? Or uh, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I mean, I didn't even know I was gonna play until like an hour before. So that's really when I got cleared. So um, just go out there when, when my number is called and, and, and do what I need to do. How do you try to get caught up on the? playbook, the stuff the Celtics are doing, everything like that today or however long time you had to try to do that? Yeah, um, I came in early and um, kind of just went through the, the all the different plays. Um, some stuff that I was familiar with and it, I just trying to learn the terminology and um, everything like that. So, I mean, I still got a long, a long ways to go, but um, we'll, we'll be good. You said you got excited about coming here once it kind of settled down a little bit. Uh, what excites you about joining this team, and how do you think you can fit in? Um, yeah, I mean, I think they got a, a great group. Um, obviously, JT, JB, a lot of special talent, and um, I just come in and, and help those guys and, and help the rest of the team and um, do what I need to do just to just to help them out. So um, I'm excited for the rest of the season and um, going on to the playoffs. Did you notice the big ovation you got when you checked in? And what was kind of going through your head as, as that was going on? Yeah, it, it was crazy. Um, I mean, I'm really appreciative of all the love that they showed me. Um, uh, kind of had some goosebumps when I was checking in and a little nervous, but um, I, mean, I was extremely thankful for, for the ovation that I got. Thanks. Is it is it true that you grew up a Celtics fan? I saw nah, a I saw me. a report on that. Was that accurate? I I'm I was from Colorado, so I was a Nuggets fan growing up. But my dad was a Celtics fan. Dad was and a Celtics he a Red Sox fan. Like he was born in Boston. So okay. That he he was not me. Okay, okay. So that's what that's what that was. So is there is there still though? I mean, your father was a Celtics fan, so is there still a little bit of something extra here with that? Yeah. Um. I think my dad was pretty excited when he when he found out that it was Boston that I'm going to and. Um, yeah, I mean, he grew up watching them. He was a diehard JoJo White fan, so um, I always heard stories about it growing up, so it's pretty cool to, to be playing out here now. Um, I also heard that you have a, an affinity for dad jokes. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? That's good dad jokes. Good dad yeah. jokes. Can you share what a good dad joke is? Uh, you put me on the spot. Yeah, that's um, right. Why didn't the skeleton go to the party? He had no body to go with. I'm just gonna throw that one out there. But, <laughs> yeah, I got a, I got a bunch here and there. Um, yeah, just try to keep it light, goofy stuff like that. Is that, is that your personality that you hope to bring to the locker? Is that kind of like the, the, the vibe that you bring to a locker room? Yeah, I, mean, I just try to, um, just be me. Uh, try to. Joke around, have fun, encourage, and, and stuff like that. So, um, just getting to know the rest of the guys, knowing them personal, uh, personally, and uh, I'm excited for all that. Thank you.
Brad talked a lot this morning about uh, finding guys that and seeking guys that really accentuate the skill sets of kind of the core here. And obviously you said you, you think you can do that really well. How do you think you'll be able to do that with this group? Um, just try to try to make their lives easier. Um, space the floor, um, create, make plays, um, compete defensively. I mean, obviously lately they've been pretty special at defensive end. So I just wanted to come in and, and not mess that up and try to help them out on that end as well. So um, just try to do a little bit of everything, just play my game, and, and I think I'll help the team. Uh, Ime and Brad have both stressed versatility. It's like a huge thing you're bringing to the table. This is a team that needed another kind of composed ball handler. And so tonight you come out playing a lot of point, then a lot of wing, and then you're playing like almost like a center on offense at the end. So how how do you feel like you being able to get integrated quickly works because you're able to play so many different roles? Yeah, I mean, I was just I was just trying to figure it out. Um, try not to be in the way. And um, I mean, whatever position I was in out there, just um, try to make the right play. So. Um, no matter what, what spot you're in on the court, just try to make the right basketball play and, and it's been pretty easy after that. Did Emi and Will kind of like run some actions that you knew from San Antonio to kind of help you kind of ease into it tonight? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's obviously some actions that were similar to the stuff we ran in San Antonio. And um, I mean, around the league, a lot of actions are similar. So um, I, I think I picked that up pretty quickly. Just trying to learn the terminology and stuff like that. That's, that's the only tough part. Thanks. I'll actually ask a basketball question this time. You've competed against Marcus Smart a lot. Um, now you're his teammate. Um, is there anything you're looking forward to? Is there anything you've already noticed sharing the floor with him as as a teammate there? People are looking at you, you guys as potential real like bulldog backcourt defensively. Yeah, I mean, obviously his whole career he showed that he's he's one of the top defensive players in the league, and um, I'm excited just to play alongside him and. Um, just see how, how he gets after it. I mean, it was, it was cool. I mean, first play of the game, he diving on the floor and um, giving us a loose ball. So stuff like that, that doesn't really show up on the box or, but um, if, if impacts winning. So I, I'm looking forward to it and um, we're going to have to get after it. Yeah, the improbability of your journey. I mean, you how often do you reflect on that going most people don't transfer up. We transfer down. You transferred up. You play at a D1. Then you're a first round pick. Then you sign an extension. I mean, you. I mean, could you reflect on that a lot, especially when moments like this, when you are now with the Celtics? Yeah, I mean, I, I just try to stay in the moment. Um, I mean, I can reflect when I'm when I'm done, but um, just stay in the moment, keep working, um, not get satisfied and stuff like that. So, um, I, mean, I, I know where I came from. I know my story, but. Uh, just try to stay in the moment and keep working. But as be, you have to have to be utmost confidence in yourself to do a series of moves, including transferring up. I mean, that has to be something that from within. I mean, where do you get that confidence from? Yeah, I mean, I mean, at that time, I just wanted to challenge myself. Um, I, mean, I felt like I had done everything that I could do in, in D2 outside of winning a national champ a championship. So um, challenge myself at the highest level playing the Pac-12. Um, and you get an opportunity like that to play for Coach Boyle and everything, I had to take advantage of it. In, in terms of just your reaction, how long did it take? What was that conversation with Pop like? I mean, obviously he drafted you. I mean, was that emotional for you? And and how long did it take you to get over the emotion of that and just realize, okay, uh, this is something new? Yeah, it, it was tough. Um, I mean, he, he drafted me. Um, built me up and, and gave me confidence and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm extremely thankful um, for him. I mean, not even just him, the whole coaching staff, training staff, front office. I mean, um, I have a lot of love for everybody, um, all my teammates and everything. So um, I can't really put into words how much I love all of them. And um, it, it was hard for me, but I knew once I got here, um, it's a new chapter and I'm ready to get after it. Thanks. Hey, Derek, you mentioned just that new chapter. What excites you the most about being reunited with Ime Odoka and kind of just continuing to build that relationship now that he is your head coach? Yeah, um, I mean, I was extremely happy for him when, when he got the job um, here. And I, I know he'd do a great job and um, just to come here and, and see how he handles things, um, see how he, he, he's taken what he's learned throughout all his stops. And um, 
I'm excited to learn from him and just continue to grow and help have him help me develop. Thank you. Thank you very much, Derek. We'll wrap it up right there. Thank you. Appreciate it.